Good morning, folks. Only significant quake of the last 24 hours struck northern New Zealand yesterday. Let's swing to HAMP. In defense of yesterday's comments regarding how Sandy was mitigated, not conjured or directed, this 2009 document unveils concern about the actions of private entities and for those who think it's just the elites, one group, the powers that be. I wish it was that easy. Back when I released this video, I thought there were only two sides. There are many already at war. And us? We are the imagined prize in this war, not the sacrifice. Okay, enough of my correcting doom tartary. Two tropical systems, East Pacific and India. Rosa off the U.S. coast is strengthening, but errant in course. India and Sri Lanka are taking a pounding across the globe. You can see how scary that is looking at the population density. Europe sees the main cold front moving over Russia as warmer air will chase away the cold next 36 hours. These straight line winds will go north of Tasmania tomorrow and take the heat out of that southern region. Here's the wind map. You can see sandy remnants. Lives are ruined and the death toll hit 50 this morning. Each one is a tragedy, but folks, a thousand mile wide hurricane hit the northeast with 940 millibars of pressure. We got kind of lucky in the big picture. Solar wind. We have some data missing on ACE, even more on SOHO. We'll focus on what happens at 1200 UTC. The temperature in the green begins to rise. The speed in yellow comes off dangerously low levels and the density in orange is maintained fully if not slightly elevated. Our already low space weather changes the ratio of this normally modest increase. You can see how much resonance is induced. The solar wind is strumming us just right, or just wrong, however you see it. But we do expect more geomagnetic disturbance as the CME arrives tonight. Combine that with a significant earth-facing coronal hole situation, pretty much from top to bottom here, there are ultramagnetic regions aimed at our planet. FYI, Earth is a sphere magnet in space. Combine that with Mercury heliocentrically conjoining Neptune tomorrow and Earth falling directly between Venus and Uranus in what's called geocentric opposition. Altogether, let's call a moderate quake watch. Regarding yesterday's filament eruption, SOHO and stereos are somewhat useless right now except for seeing a beautiful sun-diving comet on its way to demise. It doesn't appear to have too massive an eruption, however, and frankly, I'm much more worried about the coronal holes, pole to pole, and these dark, thin plasma filaments. They seem to be more dangerous than flares lately. Eyes open, no fear. It's about 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.